Did you see the, the video with uh, Odell Beckham Jr.? Wait, which one? The one with the with the girls and the alleged cocaine and the what? Should I let me watch that shit? Should I look at it real quick? Hold on, I'll pull it up. Wow, Odell, he's fucking up, man. I think he's gonna be like a short-lived dude in a little bit if he doesn't really, you know. So you just watched the video of Odell Beckham Jr. hanging out oh, with some girls and some girl, Odell some Beckham, one of the most talented uh, athletes in the NFL, you know. If we all know about his one-hand catch when he first got to the league, I was like, this dude is on some next-level shit. Right. And his parents are elite athletes. Mom track. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Okay. Mom and dad are Olympic athletes. He comes from, like, a sick bloodline of athletes. And I like the guy. I think he's great. He's young as shit. I think that I I would hope that a lot of this shit doesn't get him in trouble because I'm a Giants fan. And I hope it doesn't get him in trouble because the thing about wide receivers, man, they come and go. You know what I mean? They come and go. I mean, even, it doesn't even matter how great your wide receiver is. You can always find another one. Really? You know, I think so. Like, if you get a good quarterback, it's hard to get really great quarterbacks, I think. It's very tough. Well, you looked at, like, for example, like Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Right. You know, I don't think you could just replace Jerry Rice with someone else and throw him in there. Right. But I'm just saying, I think you can, it, it's... You can get more receivers than you can great quarterbacks. Okay, fair enough. It's a harder skill set. It's a harder saying. skill set. Yeah. Because you, know, you have to read you right. know the situation I, and yeah. Yeah. I, I mean Odell is a special I mean, he has a special talent. He's really that good. I think his emotions get the best of him. You know, and, and he's a, he's like a he's a he's a rock star. And, and but I think that he got the, the look and, and everything. The look, he's good look the whole nine. But the thing is though, it's like Terrell Owens, man. <laughs> Terrell Owens one of the greatest receiver, receivers ever, but he, he, he kind of antagonized his teams, man. They didn't want him after a while. It doesn't matter how dope you are. It's still a team sport. One ride receiver cannot win games all the time. It is really a team sport. There's, there's 11 people up there on the, on the field, man. It's not just you. Yeah. you know? So that's why the NFL will be like, you got a couple more chances, and then you got to go. And I hope that doesn't happen to him. I hope that's not what I think it is. So I hope because the NFL is like the fucking government, dude. You know what I mean? Oh no, it's a very family, yeah, oriented Reputa- reputation organization. Important. Reputation's important, even with all the um, the brain damaging that's going on, the CTE that's CTE, going on. Yeah. You know, um, they're very, very, very aware of that not leaking out the wrong way. I'm just saying it's set. It they should they need to address that shit. But it's all about reputation there. You know what I mean? It's all about rep- it's no different than the NBA when uh. When Iverson was talking about practice, talking about practice, he's like, yo, you got to put a suit on. And you remember he was rebellious against that, but it's all about image. Their image is so important. That's why with Obel, uh, Odell Beckham, I hope he doesn't get caught for that shit because the dude is dope. He's so amazing, man. But you can fuck up with just that little shit. Yeah. You know, and who knows, man, they could have, I don't know his business, but they could have sent in a girl to go, let's see what this guy does. Let's just go. You know what I mean? I mean remember that one coach, was it from Miami, who had the video of him snorting coke? Yeah. Remember he had like the black, you know, side chick? Oh, um, <laughs> which, which, wait, which, which coach from Miami? <laughs> which, he, is he, it football or yeah. not Jimmy Johnson? No. No, no, not Jimmy Johnson. No, he, he was an assistant coach, I think. Oh, anyway. Chris Forrester. Chris Forrester, he was snorting. Of the Dolphins. Coke. He was snorting coke with you, a... You've never seen this video? No. He sent this video to a side chick, man. And she released all that? And she released it. Shit. Damn. And she had some great rough. I did it to just show that, oh. you know, the reality of some of these idols that we have. Yeah, it's so like, you know, that, that, that cocaine video could have been a plant. Like, hey, we need you to get this information. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, I think they do that to test certain people. They go, okay, Adele, Adele Beckham, he's a little bit wild. He's a little bit, dude, let's, I don't know. You can get set up. You know what I mean? And these are people, high profile athletes. They do shit like that. They test them. You know, they even sometimes ask questions. Are you a homosexual? Are you this? Are you that? They ask them all that kind of shit. You know? They do it to see if they're a fit for the team or they're a fit for the or franchise. Or maybe he was just partying with a bunch of chicks. And I mean, hey man, he's not doing the cocaine. He's not doing it. Although I heard they're He's saying not doing it, but then we say, well, when did he start? I'm just saying. I mean, you know, I mean, you've seen a number of uh, athletes with drug problems. I, mean, I have seen Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry. They say he would snort the baseline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, what was the name of the football player? Um, and no disrespect to Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> what, what, what was the name of that one football player? Um, Ooh, Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor, right. Yeah. But Lawrence... <laughs> got caught smoking crack. But, <laughs> and still whooped your ass. Still can tackle people. And, and, but Lawrence told people he did that. He said, yeah, baby, I did it all. <laughs> I don't know, but that crack must have worked because he was tackling the shit out of people. <laughs> you know? He's like... Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> no disrespect to Lawrence Taylor either. I want him to see my ass. All right, he might, he might fuck He's you like, up. He's like, I saw you on Vlad, bitch. I'm like, oh. I mean, I mean, this has happened. Like, like people have said shit in Vlad interviews, and people have approached him on it and get confronted. Confronted. So, do you put it out there to get our asses whooped? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, but you know, I mean, shit, I roll with security too. So, I mean, you know, I, I understand the big picture of it all. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get blamed. I've gotten blamed for putting the shit out, even though I never even said nothing. Wow. Yeah. So it's yeah, I've had, I've had, yeah, I've had dumb shit. How, uh, you know, you put it out. So it's, it's on you too. And it's like, well, I didn't say it, but if you want to feel that way, you can feel that way. Like well, it is what it to, is. They're going to blame you because you're the interviewer. Right. You know.